Welcome, my name is Nathan Street with the De Graziosi Success Academy. I wanted to spend just a minute, a minute to talk about first time jitters at this time. One of the biggest things that we find as people come in to work with us is they have a lot of jitters that stop them from progressing forward into the business. And realistically, that can be something that would hinder someone to go forward, but it shouldn't be. As you go forward into this business, you will want to make sure that you can first pinpoint the types of jitters that are keeping you from progressing forward. And then number two, be able to create for yourself an idealist or an ideal of how you would progress forward, much like you would in real life. First, in pinpointing your direction that you will get into this. What you will want to do is identify what are the jitters because jitters are not a broad jitter. A jitter is something that is very specific to a specific property, circumstance, or perhaps. So as you look forward to that, one of the things you might look at is, for example, let's say you were looking at a property. You really know you want to get into real estate, but you're looking at the property and you're just afraid of making an offer on that property. The question would be, what is it that's keeping you from making the offer? What is that fear or that jitter that's keeping you from progressing forward? Because once you can get past that point, then we can move on to the next step and progress forward into purchasing real estate property. So let's identify, let's say you were making an offer and the fear is I don't know how I'm going to purchase the property. I don't know the financing. So in that case, once we have that, now we know what the situation is. Then we have to find the answer. The answer may be as simple as well, what about partnering with somebody else and let them take on the risk? What about finding a way you don't actually have to purchase the property, such as an assignment of contract? What if you found some good financing? So there are a few ways to do it. What would work best for you? I don't know. There may be a few different uh, occasions that will set that up. But for you, you've got to pinpoint what those are because once you move that past that, then you can get right into the next section to keep yourself going into those directions. The next also, once you've pinpointed it, we want to take it as a uh, circumstance of real life right now. As you get into life, let's say you were hired for a brand new job. This is the first time that you're in a job. You've never been there before. You've got jitters. Every time I have ever gotten a job, as well as anyone else, you get into a brand new job, there's those jitters of, oh no, I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm a little lost and things like that. At that time, though, there's really only two options. One option is just continue with it and make money because that's why you're there is to provide for yourself and your family. That's your option. The other option you have is to quit and find another job, but that's really not a viable option because you just obtained the job. Why are you there? Not to quit, but to make money and to continue forward. If we can take that same perspective, the same idea of we would live in regular life with this and we can apply that to ourselves right now in this business, that will help us to get past a lot of those particular pinpoints that we have that are keeping us moving forward. Having that mental aspect will really help us move. Also having aspects such as a goal. My goal is I am going to do a deal. There's no question. There's no uh, availability to leave that. As long as you've got that there, you can say, well, I know that I'm going to do a deal. The question is, is how? So when I find a property and I'm scared of an offer, the question is not, I, I'm scared of it, but is how do I do this? How do I put it together to find success of what I'm looking for? So that that can open up our direction to get us moving forward to really create an aspect that we can create success for ourselves. Because without that, without some of these things, they may stop us right at that front gate. Also, what are the things you can do to really just move past a lot of these pinpoints? Not only finding for yourself an idealism or a, a mind aspect of, hey, I'm going to take it just like work, regular work. I'm going to go ahead and look at my aspect. How do I find myself around that? But if you just do it, have the faith to move forward. If I'm afraid of making offers, if I just go out and make an offer... I may find that it's not so scary. Now there may be some things that I want to add to it, such as I want to make sure that there are some contingency clauses in there. But as long as I have that type of mentality as I go forward, I just do it. You come back and go, well, I just did one. Well, it wasn't so bad. I didn't get hurt from that. Remember those things and that can help you to move past some of those jitters that you might have for yourself.